All right, so we're here in the research facility, and uh, we've been doing a little bit of work here. We come up with a theory. The rock sucks, as we've been saying before. Fuck this PG motherfucker for the last time. Everybody's flaming us all the time. People call me racist because, uh, you know, the rock. He's black! Yeah, exactly, I'm he black. is. Exactly. Ladies so and gentlemen, what? let me introduce <laughs> you to the newest member of our clique. No, it's not Triple H, it's not Kevin Nash, it's not X Pac, it's Greg the Hammer Valentine, you know. He's darker, but it's okay, you know. People always look different in videos. So, <laughs> so Greg the Hammer, what do you have to say about The Rock? Oh, The Rock, you know, I've been a fan of, I've been a fan of The Rock since he was, like, you know, since he was wrestling in the Attitude Era. But now, nowadays, I think he's, like, you know, kind of washed up, you know. He's not really, like, you know, telling us, like, all the good shit he used to do during the Attitude Era. Nowadays, it's all about Cena. Cena, Cena, Cena. It's all, it's all WWE fucking cares about every week. Nowadays, they have The Rock come out on Raw, you know, they have him do his, like, stupid little rock concert, you know, they have him say all his little, like, PG jokes. I don't know if you guys were watching, but a couple weeks back, he was telling us, you know, a joke about stealing a crackhead's car, and I, I, don't, I don't know what you guys thought about that, but that had nothing to do, I mean, absolutely nothing to do with the storyline with him and Cena, because you see, these guys are going to have a match at Mania. And you think the him Mania. telling us a story about stealing a crack bitch's car is going to help further the storyline? Are you fucking serious? Really? Now, really? one question. Who do you like more? Cena or... Yeah, get, ready this, get ready for this, folks. Or The Rock. Well, <laughs> and this that, is a big hard time. Question. That's not a hard Cena question. Had, Cena I hate not, right I, here. I hate Cena, really. I can't stand him. I hate all, everything in WWE nowadays revolves around Cena. He's really? my white boy from Boston. <laughs> All right, when it comes down to Rock and Cena, I'd rather go with The Rock, you know. <laughs> not not because he's black or whatever, because I know I'm black. <laughs> no, but The Rock has a lot more fire and charisma than Cena, even though he's kind of, like, watered down now. He's not really telling people to take his foot and shove up their candy asses like he used to do during the Attitude Era. But, you know, Instead, he's talking I'm not, about I'm the not weather, jump on Cena's comparing it to Honey Boo Boo and the Harlem Shake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to compare him to Honey Boo Boo or Harlem Shake, but listen, I'm not going to jump on John Cena's bandwagon whatever. I'm not going to suck his cock just like you guys are doing. I know you guys hate the PG Rock, but listen up. Listen, The Rock is still The Rock, you know. If you hate him, you hate There's him. There's a lot of people opinion. who love that PG Rock. They don't want to admit that he's watered down. They don't want to admit. They think that he's just as great as he once was. They said The Rock's in my top ten. But right now, in my opinion, I think that Cena is a little bit better. He did have that top quality match. The Rock still hasn't had any matches. He hasn't had a decent match in you know, over a year. And that was actually against Cena, which is probably a little bit more than just a coincidence. You know, as he said, you know, I'm not going to jump on his bandwagon. Still not a Cena fan. But at this point in time, Cena is just a little bit better. Because he's not coming out there. And at least he doesn't say... Uh, of course, you know, he did have that Call of Duty promo with a little kid. And that Star Wars promo, too, was really oh, sick. Yes. Star Wars promo is funny. I mean, like, I like going is, for the comical value. When it comes to The Rock, I have higher expectations. For Cena, I don't expect a lot. So, you know, but with The Rock, I'm more disappointed because I, you know, I think very highly of The Rock. So when he comes out there and lowers himself, and he lowers all our expectations with these shitty-ass fucking promos, talking about crackheads, honey boo boo. That's why I say the rock sucks because this rock is not good. I didn't turn my back on him. No one's turning their back on him. They're just speaking the truth. Rock is not as good as he used to be. Now I will say one thing. Now I know a lot of people say or even comments st Wow the Stone Cold would be right now in the WWE. We all know that he'll be a more down PG version. But here's the thing what I would say to you is would you would you want the, any wrestler or any Brock Lesnar or Stone Cold to come back to the WWE even though you know they're going to be a PG watered down version in this day and age? Would you want those two? Because you know what I'm saying? If Stone Cold acts like a PG motherfucker, I'm going to call him a PG motherfucker. But it's not even it's listen. It's not even the point of calling him a PG. You know it's going to be PG. There's no point. Like when people got excited because of the Rock, I knew 
straight up it was gonna be PG. It was no. Yeah. This is why, something tough. This though, is why I don't talking about Honey Boo Boo. This is why Black I don't watch a lot of wrestling. Talking about Crack Bitch's car. You know, talking about something more decent. Talk about the match, maybe. Talk about the mania. I don't talk about. So you think you can get? So basically, you think you can get around it without trying to be too much PG. Top quality PG shows. They've done it in the past. They had a pretty good show, you know, uh, a week ago with Brock Lesnar bleeding all over the place, you know, and, and a good match with Cena and Punk. But, you know, and we all know that once Mania is can over, be done. once Mania is over, Rocky's going right back to Hollywood. Exactly. So there's your rock. He that's, comes and he goes whenever he wants to. That's Paul, why. Paul, Snitch was a good movie. I'm sorry, but that was a good movie. But other than that, I don't know his wrestling, so. You know, his movie's one thing, what he's doing in WWE is another. No, he stole the tooth fairy. He still played the tooth fairy. Oh, that that lost the tooth fairy. That was actually pretty funny the way you wore this U2. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know something. That he you lost might as well belly. come out there and wear the tutu. It would be the, basically the same thing as coming out there and cutting a pussified promo. And all this thing we were talking about before earlier today, cookie puss. I don't think I touched on this enough. Now, How what does the that fuck make is sense? a cookie puss? Do, do any of you know what a cookie puss even is? It's a it's a dessert at Carvel. So basically, he was calling punk a, a chocolatey dessert. You know, that's <laughs> like if I if I call you know that would be a little bit racist if I called you that, but you know. Uh, no. You know, also my opinion with sexual references to that except he's not he got skin color wrong. Maybe if he was a uh, fried in the sun, you'd be looking like that. I'll stop at that point. <laughs> All right, so, All right, so this is getting more is controversial than Jack Swagger. So Rock is basically calling Punk vanilla flavored ice cream. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing that's what a cookie puss is. I have no it's idea what it is. You know, <laughs> just to I'm come out there and, and and tear people apart, really owning them. Now The Rock says something about Lance Armstrong, and apparently, you know, Cena's getting owned. He's owning people. I don't see it. You know, people have these blinders on. They're seeing things that I'm not seeing. Making up stories, lying, you know, they, they want to think that PG is good, but it's not good. I mean, why lie to yourself? If the product sucks, if the promo sucks, why insist that it's good? That's why we never get better shit because you still have people who are going to support this. All right, the bottom line is WWE sucks major cock nowadays. I know a lot of you are going to jump on the PG bandwagon. You're going to say, well, oh, the PG era is good for business, but it's not. PG era is hurting the ratings. It's killing the business. Like, what the fuck is Vince McMahon even thinking? What is Triple H thinking? He has no idea how to run the fucking company. Another reason why I don't go to WrestleMania, these two are, I'm not. But one, but the one, one thing is, I'm not as a huge wrestling fan as these two. But I do know some shit about wrestling, so I am gonna uh, account my opinion on that matter. Eh, you know the thing is, I will always support this company been watching it my whole life. The thing is, my big, my I'm not going to stop watching. I will go down I, with the right, ship. Now here's, now, here's the thing. From a non-WWE fan, this is like talking about to your regular person. Because I'm not like, I do know wrestling, but yet, I am not like a huge wrestling fan. My view is, why watch the product if they're going to give you crap? That's like, hey, we're going to support it even though that the company is going to have shitty products. And, it's, and the show is going to be horrible. That's like me saying, oh... I'll let the crap come even further down me and drench it all over my body. <laughs> For me, I'm like, no. I don't want, you know what I'm saying? I do watch WD on, on occasions. But as I like, go the last video I was on Brad with The Raw, I haven't watched WWE in what, like three or four years? Usually what I... What a reintroduction to it. You come in from my, and you see Mae Young giving birth to uh, yeah, that was that was the one. That was the funniest part. I saw Mae Young giving birth in, early, uh, in, in New Year's and I was like, they That's haven't exactly changed. my point. Listen, I don't know what you guys do. I don't know what you guys do. But oh, I, I watch Raw. If I watch Raw and I see something stupid, if I see Santino I, I play or Call of Duty. Or toy, I just turn the channel. I, if you don't like something, just turn the channel. I love that I, I got see sports as an alternative. I see Steeler come out cutting a promo. I just turn the damn channel. Okay, I'm gonna I don't waste friends. my time with that PG garbage every Monday night. You know, it's just that sometimes when you see, getting back to the point about The Rock, you see a promo like that, you just can't change the channel. It just retards your mind. You forget, you lose the ability to do basic functions. You know, you forget how to piss and shift for a minute. You forget how to change a channel on the remote because the promo just retards your mind. It's so stupid, so babyish, so childish. And the thing is, you have all the adult fans, people in their 20s who grew up on the attitude here, saying this is good shit, and they're they're acting more immature than the Cena fans. It's like, grow the fuck up. 
If it's a stupid promo targeted towards PG motherfuckers and you're actually going to support a promo like this. Crackheads selling used cars. It isn't even funny. This is like, if he wants to say that, save it for the fucking uh, news shows where he's carrying the title around for. And before we end this, quick opinions on, on, on that new title. I think that shit is fucking hideous. Well, to be honest with you, I'd rather have the new belt over the spinner belt because come on. The spinner belt is fucking ugly, dude. Like, come on. But it's, tell me that that does not look like a ghetto piece of shit. All those stones on there. Okay, the new belt doesn't look really ghetto, but it, it, is, it, 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 it could be belt. worse. The spinner it belt could, is terrible. It, it, one question, it could be worse. It could, that could be pink rhinestones. No, no, dude, dude. This <laughs> yeah. belt, it looks like something a rapper would carry around. Yeah, exactly. If Jay Z wanted to get his belt. You know, he probably had a belt like Stan? that. It looks like something 50 Cent yeah. would wear in one of his rap videos. And like, the bling bling shit. Yo, sir, I'll be, yeah, yeah. I'll be <laughs> champion. Uh, uh, it's spinning! Spin it's that spinning! Fucking belt. Spin that fucking belt. Like, what the fuck? Is it a title belt or is it a toy? And the what whole point it? of the spinner belt was so John Cena could look hard. Because, you know, he was doing the hip-hop gimmick at the time. So it was supposed to look like hip-hop. But then I remember they released the, uh, the replica from Jack Specific back in the day. And you couldn't even tell the difference between the real belt and the fake belt. Right. This still, though, I mean, why can't they just have a normal fucking belt? Like, why why can't they look like they the Attitude back, Era style? Just bring back the old belt. Keep bring back the Attitude Era belt. Or bring the back Undisputed, undisputed at least. Bring back all the good belts. Get rid of the, um, they said they gotta make it look belt. like a fucking toy. <laughs> I know. Of course, the new belt is like, you know, so so. Like, you know, I prefer it over the Spinner belt, but, you know, you're still gonna make it look easy. A little better than the spinner, you know. It's just my opinion. Belt's ugly. Rock's promos are ugly. Cena still is ugly. sucks. Are you PG fans? That's the message to you. Well, well, no. Company's message. falling apart. The world's coming to an end. And here's a message for all the PG fans out there. Fuck you and fuck Cena too. You all fucking suck. But he's still better than the Rock at the moment. All right. That's it. All right. Peace.